Checking in with our eyewitness weather watchers here on a Thursday evening. You can see temperatures across the weather watcher map generally in the 40s. Let's check in on currents. Jerry and Bluebell at 41. Greg Wood in Ocean View, New Jersey is at 52. That's pretty comfy. Gary in Landenburg at 45. Chesterfield, New Jersey, our friend Ed Connor at 41. Phil in Chestnut Hill at 42. And low 40s for Walter, David, and Peter Ferrone as well. As we check in on some photos, you can see the day turned out to be pretty decent across parts of the area. Ed showing the sun setting tonight to the west actually saw a little bit of a sunset there in Chesterfield, but he said it was kind of dull and dreary to the east. Take a look at Phil's Christmas tree that they shared, a beautiful looking tree there as we head toward the Christmas season and not a bad day to be out at the Morris Arboretum either. They've got the holiday train, beautiful holiday setup. If you haven't been there, definitely go check it out. And most of the day was dry. Much of tomorrow will be dry as well if you want to get some holiday activities in, but by the evening, all bets are off. Let's take a look at what's happening outside on Storm Scan 3. Nothing really going on in our neighborhoods except that little blip on the radar we just talked about over portions of Lehigh and Northampton counties. You can see a couple of little sprinkles and notice the pink there indicating the chance that some of that is actually some light wintry mix. Not much, but right over 78, right over 22. Bethlehem over toward Moore, back toward Allentown. We are again seeing a few areas of that wintry mix very, very light, but just be safe on the roads. A few spots could get a little slippery and you may need an umbrella if you're ducking out here this evening. Storm Scan 3 though shows a stronger, much larger scale storm system that's developing over portions of the deep south and the lower Mississippi River Valley. That's going to be heading north and east as we get into your Friday and the rain will likely get here in the afternoon or evening, but once it does, it'll stick around for quite some time. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies, just that stray shower or sprinkle or brief snow shower to the north. Lows will be in the 30s and a light northeast wind, a pretty seasonable night. We'll drop down to the upper 30s by about 3 a.m. Most spots making it down to the mid 30s overnight before we start to warm up pretty quickly tomorrow into the 40s and 50s. Tonight's low 35, mainly cloudy. That is pretty seasonable. Tomorrow afternoon showers will be developing, but it's late evening that the rain really gets in. Let's time this out. Tomorrow in the morning, maybe a stray sprinkle here or there, but by 8 or 9 o'clock, you can see this wave of rain. This first wave of steady rain moves in. It will rain pretty heavily through the overnight hours tomorrow night and into Saturday, especially in the morning. Now there may be a brief little lull, just some drizzle Saturday afternoon before a second round comes in and then it's on and off rain Saturday night and through much of the day on Sunday as well. Most of the area will end up with between an inch or two. Some localized flooding is possible as well. So your eyewitness weather seven day forecast warmer in the 50s, but rain arrives tomorrow evening, continues through Saturday, lingering rain Sunday, then it's cooler and blustery early next week. You can Jessica. Okay, thank you.